So how did, uh, how did you get that offense back on track last week? It felt good. Uh, it's, o- it's always good when you can score multiple goals, obviously playing a rival as well and, and winning that game. Um, I think we've been close all season, but I think the past couple games we've been progressing, creating more chances and being a little bit more lethal in finishing those chances. I think that's going to be important for us, um, especially the stretch coming up. There's going to be multiple games, so we're going to have to rely on a lot of players um, and hopefully use this momentum to keep going. And, and the defense keeping the, the ball out of the net next, last week too. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's something that we pride ourselves on, obviously being compact defensively, um, we have players that will put the work in all across the field, and that makes it easier for us once we know our kind of Id- identity defensively um, to try to exploit teams offensively. Any other questions, Bob? Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, team, go ahead. When you've uh, had your, your initial chances to look at what uh, difficulties Chicago is going to present to you guys this weekend. What have you seen out of this team? Obviously, I don't think their results are where they want them to be, but what have you seen about the way that they have uh, come out and performed? Yeah, I going over some film over the past couple of days, I think that their um, standing um, you know, in the table doesn't really correlate to the type of team that they are. Um, they have really talented players. Um, they can find ways to score goals and create a lot of chances. And the way their midfield plays uh, can maybe present some problems for us, the way they try to find little gaps. But, uh, you know, obviously they have Kai Kamara, who I've known for a long time, and he's a goal scorer, and he's going to be a poacher, and he's going to be in the box. So he's someone we're going to have to keep an eye on. And uh, I think we're going to have to take it to him, though. We're we're playing at home, and we are coming off a good result, and we want to keep the momentum going. So I think it's something that we want to be prepared for them, but we definitely want to, you know, focus on things that we can control and how we want to attack them. I know uh, I don't want to age you here, but it's been a decade since you played for SKC. But um, back in those days, um, Chicago was a rival for you guys. Do you still feel some of that, where it's it's maybe like a a different like rivalry sort of feeling game for for Um. you? I think I'm too old for that. Um, no, I I don't really feel it's a, a rivalry game. I I just know in this league, any matchup, you you got to kind of throw away their previous results and know that every match is going to be a battle. Um, and I think this is one where you can call it a trap game or something like that, where we just got to be locked in from that first whistle. And I know that might be a cliche that every team and every you know, locker room is talking about. But that's something that if we focus on that and our, um, we, we use our abilities and get on them quickly, I think that's going to work to our advantage. Thank you, team. Ben, go ahead. Yeah, Teal, just thinking back to last year, I think at this point you guys had just played your first game at home after the first eight games on the road. Just how much of a difference has it made this year to get, I mean, a a huge chunk of games back to back to back at home and to be able to kind of build some form without having to be on the road for the whole start of the season? Yeah, that that was challenging last year. Um, But I think I built like some resiliency and some character, and I think that's kind of carried over this year. Uh, We know that once we opened up Geotis, it it was still a little bit of a a challenge for us. We weren't getting the results right away. So I think for us this year is trying to build off of this and making sure it's the castle, the fortress that we're talking about um, and being motivated every match against whoever we're playing that we're locked in and ready to go. And I mean, the fans make it even that much more enjoyable as well. Ben, any final questions? Yeah, one more. we saw Jacob obviously come come into the squad midway through the year last year, but you added Fafa. Um, hopefully you're going to have Randall back soon. D- does it feel like you have kind of more options and, and different options in attack this year? And just how has it been kind of building chemistry with those guys and, and figuring out how to play together? Yeah, it's, it's great when you have a lot of attacking options um, and a lot of competition and a lot of guys pushing each other. And with a lot of the attacking pieces that we have, I think everyone kind of offers something different. And I think that um, gives opposing teams a lot of problems to try to prepare for who's going to be playing, who's coming off the bench. Okay, now you got this guy here, this guy running in behind, this guy holding. So whatever it might be, I think we all bring different characteristics and capabilities um, that we have to utilize. So in training, we're always trying to feed off of each other. We're trying to get the best out of each other. And the more we work, you know, in training, I think the, the better we'll be out on the pitch.